Number 10. Flying Fox Bionic. Fruit bats, also called flying foxes, have a membrane that stretches from their fingers to their toes. This makes them very aerodynamic and agile when they fly. Engineers at Festo, a German automation company, think bats are the best example of bio-inspired drones. The bionic flying fox has wings over 7 feet long and weighs slightly more than 1 pound. The honeycomb shape of the bionic bat's membrane is made up of about 45,000 points where a knitted stretch fabric comes together. The semi-autonomous bot can still fly even if the membrane gets broken. It tracks movement and makes decisions by using infrared cameras and machine learning. Number 9. Bionic Wheel Bot The robot is modeled after the Moroccan Flick Flak Spider, which can walk like other spiders. It can also get into the air by doing somersaults and rolling on the ground simultaneously. The so-called rolling mode is twice as fast as walking. The bionic wheel bot can walk and roll because it has eight legs. They are controlled by 15 small motors built into the knees and body. 14 automatic locking worm gear units ensure the spider only uses energy when it moves its legs and not when standing still. Number 8. Bionic Ants Several years ago, a German company showed off another project. Inspired by nature, scientists could recreate the complex anatomy of ants and give them some collective intelligence, just like in real life. Ants, the robots, talk to each other, do simple tasks together, and follow clear rules to reach common goals. They do this by using a complex set of cameras and sensors. This small family of robots has no trouble moving big things. Number 7. Bionic Opter. This dragonfly robot is much bigger than the insects that inspired it. It has wings that are 27 inches long and a body that is 19 inches long. But when it moves slowly, its wings look just like real ones. Bionic Opter can fly forward, backward, and stop quickly in the air. The Bionic Opter is a beautiful bug to look at. Its body is made of carbon fiber and covered in blue polyester performance material. Number 6. Festo's newest robot Bionic Kangaroo. The Bionic Kangaroo is everyone's favorite Australian animal with a technological twist. This big bouncer can jump like a real kangaroo. It can jump up to 6 inches high and 32 inches away. Before making this artificial adaptation, the German makers spent two years studying the kangaroo's unique way of moving. The bionic kangaroo never gets tired because it has motors, sensors, and legs that store energy. Number 5. Bionic Soft Arm The lightweight pneumatic robot can be used for a wide range of tasks because it is made up of separate parts that can be put together in different ways. With the help of different grippers that can change, it can pick up and move a wide range of objects and shapes. At the same time, it's completely bendable and won't hurt the user, even if they bump into something. The Bionic Soft Arm meets important needs for the shared workspaces of the future. There is less and less of a clear line between what a factory worker does by hand and what a robot does by itself. This means that in the future, people and machines can work on the same piece or component simultaneously. Number 4. Boston Dynamics Robot Dog A woman has been filmed taking one of Boston Dynamics robot dogs. She named Scrappy for a walk down a street in Florida while hundreds of onlookers watched with excitement and some with fear. During the walk, Scrappy showed off his skills by sitting up when he was told to and stopping when he was told to. He also moved around people and things that were in his way. The four-legged robot recently went on sale to the public for $75,000. Businesses usually use it, but it looks like robot dogs may soon become household pets. Spot, a robot dog that can be used indoors or outdoors, became available to the public in June 2020. It can make a map of its surroundings, sense obstacles, and stay away from them, climb stairs, and open doors. 
It can do dangerous work in nuclear plants, offshore oil fields, and construction sites. Number 3. Theo Jans. He is the best kinetic artist of the 21st century. People call him Da Vinci. He makes structures that move with the wind out of simple things like pet bottles, tubes, and cable ties. He has been working on kinetic art since 1990, making his unique art world called Strandbeast, a beach animal. Links of the right length are connected to make a complicated movement that looks like the animal's legs are moving. The basic structure of Theo Jansen is made up of 11 bars. Theo Jansen has used math and generation replacement for many years to find the best ratio of bar length to bar width. Number 2. Snake-alike Titanoboa robot. Over about a year, the Titanoboa was built by a group of over 30 volunteers working with the Eid Art Foundation. It has 30 lightweight aluminum vertebrae, welded together 60 hydraulic cylinders that move like the snake's muscles and seven microcontrollers that talk to each other and run the robot. The Titanoboa moves in response to input from a driver with a joystick, which is like a remote control. The driver chooses where the head of the snake will go, and the rest of the spine moves the same way as the driver's head. The fact that the robot Titanoboa has a saddle so that people can ride, it is the most interesting thing about it. Number 1. Emotion Butterflies this bionic butterflies were made with the help of what we learned from the bionic opter and emotion spheres projects. They have a lightweight design like that of artificial insects and fly together as a group. Ten cameras in the room record the butterflies using two infrared markers on their wings. The cameras send the data about where the butterflies are to a central master computer which uses the information to coordinate the butterflies from the outside. Intelligent networking makes a control and monitoring system that could be used in the future 